Have you ever felt like you're lost? No matter how hard you try, something is missing, something that grounds you. What if I told you that a fiery love could be the missing piece? And without it, we are like birds with broken wings, unable to fly. In today's episode, we'll examine this idea through one of Rumi's beautiful lines. Stay with us to uncover how Rumi's words could guide us to a fulfilled life, an enlightened life, something that can transform how you see love, life, and yourself. Rumi says, if love doesn't turn to a lover, the lover is like a wingless bird. What does this mean for us? Sometimes we feel directionless in life, like we are caught up in a storm with no anchor, and that is because we lack the light, the light of love, the light of something greater than ourselves. Can we truly find our way without this light? No, according to Rumi, we can't. In the next line, Rumi continues. This line is Rumi's way of telling us that without divine love, we are left to navigate the world blindly, relying only on rationality. And let me tell you something. Although rationality is important to Rumi, it is not enough to receive divine knowledge. We need a higher faculty. Think about it. How many times have you done something based on rationality alone only to feel hollow afterwards? Rumi is showing us that the mind without the heart, without divine love, is incomplete. We need them both. But Rumi doesn't stop there. He tells us why we fail to see this love. Our hearts are like mirrors, but when we fill our lives with distractions, whether it is worldly desires, ego, or fear, we cloud our ability to truly see to reflect the divine light. Is there a way to cleanse the mirror? Yes, through love. Love cleanses the heart, allowing us to see clearly, allowing us to reflect the divine light within ourselves. Rumi is not talking about abstract love. He's talking about a love that grounds us, a love that brings us back to our true selves. Without this love, we are scattered, restless, but with it, we are free. We fly. And where does that love come from? From the divine. It is the love that connects us to something greater. A love that gives us a higher purpose in life. When the mirror of the heart is cleansed, everything becomes clear. We see ourselves, our purposes, and we find peace. So, what's the takeaway here? Life without love, without a divine connection, is a life without wings. When we cleanse our hearts, we open ourselves to a higher love, one that elevates us. It's not just about emotions, it's about seeing clearly, living fully. Can everyone find this love? Yes, if they seek it, if they cleanse their hearts. Do you want to know more about this cleansing process? In our future episodes, we are going to uncover Rumi's wisdom on how to find this love, how to uncover it, and how to live an enlightened life, one with freedom and purpose. But before you go, have you watched our previous episodes about Rumi's famous Song of the Reed and its symbolism? It holds the key to understanding today's message. Check it out, you won't regret it. <laughs> Thank 
عشق خواهد که این سخن بیرون بود آینه قماز نبود چون بود آینت دانی چرا قماز نیست زن که زنگار از رخش ممتاز نیست